Hey guys, this is Tiamat Ruler back with another episode of Random Wonder Trades. And uh, we're going to get right into this. Obviously, we are trading off Beldums, um, as I have been for a while now. Um, I do still have a couple left that are marked off, but most of them aren't marked off on IVs anymore. It gets kind of tedious with how the number of Beldums I've bred marking off um, IVs to Wonder Trade them off. It really does. I didn't expect... We get Brock from Pennsylvania bring it on they say um yeah maybe you can bring us something good i hope um i certainly hope for something good from you today um ooh, a zangoose not bad not bad at all not complaining about a zangoose zangooses zangoose can be good can be bad too as most pokemon can be pretty bad as well as much as they can be good but um yeah, I guess I don't really have any news. Um, my head's feeling a bit better today. It still hurts, but it's, it's getting better. It's getting there. Um, I think I actually left my ibuprofen at work, damn it. Oh, well. Um, we're going to check out our Pokemon once we're done, like we always do. Um, hopefully we don't get like a Magikarp or something. I hate Magikarps. Obviously, I'd probably do that as my wild card if I did. Um, but what are we going to get? today for our wonder cup team which will be up on friday but as i've said before i do uh rococo from madeira portugal nice to meet you rococo um but as i have said before i do do my wonder cup battles before i uh put the wonder trades episode up so you won't be if you ooh a heat more that's interesting but if you do uh end up battling me at some point it won't be the wonder trades episode you've seen um any of the wonder trade teams you've seen before so um just because i like to keep it as a little surprise so people can't like cheat to be good against my team um because i can't see what they do um well i'm trusting people I'm, i am trusting people to uh keep within the rules of the wonder cup but i mean i'm sure there's people out there who have cheated with it before and all that um i just I just trust people, even like last week when they got the Garchomp. I still, I mean, I trust that they that they got that legitimately through Wonder Trade. I've gotten pretty good things. I've got one week before that. I got a freaking white uh, Wall Rain, so needs Scatterbug. So I, so I guess you're trying to get Vivillons, huh, Danny? I already have the complete Vivillon set, so I don't really have any sca spare Scatterbugs. I'm sorry, Danny. But uh, let's see here. We get a Snubble. Okay, so we get that Fairy Typing in there. Get that fairy typing in there. So if they have a dragon type on their team, we can just uh, kind of sneak the fairy type in there when they attack. If we know they're going to use, like, Outrage or something, get them trapped into that. So hopefully Snubble will have some fairy type moves, too. I don't know what Snubble gets, actually. Um, I've never really used a Snubble or a Grand Bull, so um, we've got a pretty interesting team so far. Um, pretty balanced so far, too. It's a pretty, pretty interesting team. I'm not... I'm not too upset with it. We got a normal type, a fire type, and a fairy type. No double, no dual typings yet, which is good and bad. I mean, they're only weak against one thing, um, but, well, not one thing, but they only have that type's resist, or weaknesses. Um, they aren't four times weak to anything, but at the same time, they also um, don't have stab for any other moves except for one type. So, uh, Maxi from New Jersey. Nice to meet you too, Maxi. What are you going to get for us? Are you going to send us shiny? Are you going to send us a fully evolved Pokemon? Are you, are you going to send us something interesting? Are you going to send us crap? Are you going to send us a legend? Um, you send us a Ninjask. Okay. I'm not going to be mad about Ninjask. That's a fully of all Pokemon. Speed boost. Speed boost is a thing with Ninjask. Um, and, it, it, I mean, Ninjask could definitely be good. It's a fully evolved Pokemon, so it's definitely, I mean, it's got something up on the other stuff so far. Um, I guess... All but one of ours so far is fully evolved, because the other two don't have an evolution, Zangoose and uh, Heatmore. But um, funny story about Heatmore. One time my friend was talking about Heatmore, and I thought they were talking about uh, Heatran, and I'm like, "Isn't that a le I don't know what I said. I called it a legendary or something. And uh, this was with Hydros actually, and he won't. Yeah, he brings that up every once in a while whenever like Heatmore or Heatran is in something uh may from the united states nice to meet you too may 
send us something good, please. But uh, every time, he, uh, usually Heat more, he'll call it a legendary or something like that. Or he tr if there's a Heat Ran, he'll call it Heat more. Um, we get a Purloin. Okay, that's not something we have on our team yet. Um, and it definitely had to be bred, unless it was from a previous game, one of the Gen 5 games. And it's named Felilu. Uh, that's probably another language, the name from another language. But Felilu. Um, yeah. Team's looking pretty interesting here. I, I really don't know what I'm going to trade out for my uh, wild card, to be honest. We're going to have to look at the moves for that. But uh, let's trade out this last beldum here and see what we get for him it i guess it can't have a gender because it's a genderless pokemon but uh what are we gonna get what are we going to get something good please zach yes let's trade from rhode island please give me something good something like a shiny another fully evolved pokemon please don't send me a magikarp or something like that um i guess that would make our wild card choice easier but please send us something good so then we have to choose. Ooh, a Larvesta. Get that flame body on. Get them get them a burn if they hit me up with a physical move. Um, could have some really good moves on it. Could be a crap Larvesta. Who knows? We're going to have to check and find out. But uh, Ignivore, some very interesting... Uh, I'm guessing these are all like uh, different region names. Um, but we're going to go ahead and figure out what our team is like here so we can wild card um at this point i'm thinking it's probably either going to be the snubble or the pert one but i don't know zangoose rash immunity meaning it can't be poisoned if i'm incorrect um rock smash false swipe fury cutter or quick attack and fury cutter so it's got lots of stab moves a uh, fury cutter and eh. rock smash could come in handy drop the defense of a pokemon um, mainly looking at that quick attack. Quick attack is nice. Um, and then we got a heat more gentle gluttony. Gluttony's not going to come in handy at all, unfortunately. But uh, flame burst. Flame burst would be nice. Um, bug bite. Uh, bug type move. Cool. Slash. Get some critical hits in there. Normal type critical hits. And amnesia. Up our special defense, I think. If I'm right. Could be wrong, but I, I don't know. Um, snubble looks. These all look like they're just off the route so far snubble rash intimidate intimidates nice charm bite lick and headbutt so unfortunately no fairy type moves other than charm no stab attacking fairy type moves but we do have bite for any ghosts or anything like that um or psychics psychic types we do have lick bite for flinching lick for paralysis headbutt for flinching cool um ninjask is a naive speed boost i don't know how good naive is for an ingest, but it's got fury cutter, fury swipes, um, leech life, and mind reader. Um, I don't know how good any of those will be. They all seem kind of like lower, t lower level moves, but I could be wrong. I mean, it could come in handy. And then we've got the purloin here, jolly limber, scratch, sand attack, growl, and assist. Assist could be interesting in a wonder cup battle. Whoa. That's the, what is that one again? That one's the one that uses a random, uh, randomly uses a move among those known by other Pokemon. In the That's interesting. That could be an, make for an interesting Wonder Cup battle, I'm not going to lie. And then Larvesta, Flame Body with Ember and String Shot. Ooh, the Larvesta is actually the weakest link of our party. Um, hmm. The assist could make for something very interesting, not going to lie. And they have to actually level that up a bit, too, because you, unless they got... Nope, it's Callowsborn, so they had to level that up a bit. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and... Because we already have a bug and a fire type on our team. Um, we're going to go ahead and trade the... Uh, I know the flame body would come in super handy, but we're going to go ahead and trade Ignivore here, the Larvesta, and see what we can get for it. I'm probably going to regret this a lot because Ember, I mean, at least Ember's a stab, stab move. I mean, I guess I didn't have to do a wild card, but makes it more interesting. I think, I'm pretty sure I've had a Larvesta on the, on the battles before anyways, but uh, 
Shinies says Mac. I didn't get to see what they're from because I was talking, but uh, where where they were from. But do you have a shiny? Is that a sh that is not a shiny shell loss, but that is the shell loss that is not in the game. So that's really cool because um, you can only get. I don't even remember the evolution's name, but whatever the evolution is, you can only get the pink one of them, and so then you have to breed it. You uh, you have to get the blue ones through PokeBank. Um, so that's really cool. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that really quick. See what we get for it, or what we got on it. Ooh, that looks like that was a decent, decent idea, or a decent trade there. Three IV, it looks like. Relaxed Storm Drain. I think that's water, absorbs water type moves. Is that right? Harden, Water Pulse, Mud Bomb, and Hidden Power. I have no idea what the hidden power is. I'll have to get that checked out before I do the battle, actually. Um, but relaxed, or wait, no, harden, water pulse. So water pulse is a good stab move. Mud bomb is a decent stab move. Um, what does that storm drain do, actually? Draws all in all water type moves and boosts its special attack. And I believe both of these are special, right? Oh, yeah. All of these are special, and they all do at least 60 damage. That's nice. That is nice. Not gonna lie, that is that is fairly nice. Um, so, yeah, this team looks fairly interesting. Not gonna lie, um, um, Ninja can come out as quite as good as I thought it would. But uh, I mean, we've got a. I mean, this looks like a fairly good team here. Assist looks like it'll be super interesting. Not not sure what that's gonna be like, but uh, I just I'm I feel like wanting to use that just <laughs> just to use assist if that makes any sense. Maybe it'll end up getting bite. Who knows? Um, but, yeah. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you're a first-time viewer, please subscribe. And if you want to participate in a Wonder Cup battle with me, then leave your friend code and your um, in-game name. And then, obviously, leave your um, Twitter if you have one or some way to get a hold of you if, you, if I can't get a hold of you through YouTube. So... Um, yeah, it won't be with this one, obviously, if you leave it. I do, the, as I said before, I do the Wonder Cup battles before I do put the Wonder Trades up on YouTube. So, um, yeah, this, I guess, this is Team at Rulers signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Peace.